On one side, spiritual freedom and truth, reason and culture, evolution and progress stand under the bright banner of science. On the other side, under the black flag of hierarchy, stand spiritual slavery and falsehood, irrationality and barbarism, superstition and retrogression. Evolution is the heavy artillery in the struggle for truth. True and enduring peace there cannot be until one of the combatants lies powerless on the ground. Either the church wins, and then farewell to all free science and free teaching, or else the modern rational state proves victorious. Then, in the 20th century, human culture, freedom, and prosperity will continue their progressive development. Current evolutionary theories are proclaimed as beyond question in the name of science. But a closer look reveals the reasons for adherence to the paradigm are philosophical rather than empirical. While truth cannot contradict truth, bad science tends to follow bad philosophy. And this is what we see again and again in the writings of Kenneth Miller and other leading evolutionists. It too has turned out at last to be no more than a godless ideology masquerading in scientific God. Here's a simple way of saying it. We're not going up, we're not evolving upward, we're going down. Given the real testimony of the fossil record, most of the geologic column is best interpreted as being laid down quickly and as a result of a global flood. No scientist would ever accept divine intervention in the formation of first humans, and yet theistic evolution has little meaning if God is fenced out. <laughs> 